nature is that it isn't like man-made stuff. It changes with each season and can transform into something else. After the rains, the forest has a different feel. Uzuru wa Karura ni hapatu. That is the beauty of the forest around the city. You don't need to make elaborate plans to visit. Unapiga tu left up Okiambu Road and you are in a different world. Life is so much better. The animals are really enjoying themselves. There is water in the trenches for the olive thrush to bathe. Kuna vile watu wana kukinyesha kutakuwa na matope na pengine ndiyo sababu watu wa atokei sana kwa forest. So today I am alone on most of the tracks. We're in the middle of the city or at least in between what they call civilization concrete traffic but once you enter Karura all that disappears and the advantage is it doesn't matter what kind of weather there is there's always something you can look forward to kama sahi kuna matope wengine umesema ti mkiniona in person mimi ni mfupi hii matope itanifanya nikuwe mrefu It is hard to imagine that in a city of over 4 million people one can find such a place to be alone with a population density of 6000 people per square kilometer Nairobi is the most densely populated county in Kenya This is a great place to get away from the other 5999 other Nairobians and just to be alone Hapa hakuna makelele ya jirani, hakuna mijango inaendelea, hakuna magari au boda. It is just pleasant natural sounds. I can finally hear myself think. By the way, there is that debate about a tree falling in the forest with no one to hear it and whether it makes a sound or not. In the indigenous part of Karura, the rule is leave it alone. Hayo mambo mengine, watia wahenga. Before ningeona hii ningeona nikai inaoza. But this is proof that this is a healthy forest. And also Karura is a non-extraction zone, meaning you don't you're not supposed to take anything, any animals or any plants. It's also co uh, co-managed. So there are some communities that are allowed kuchukua kuni like we were to leleze to a prof. Um, but otherwise everything is left as is. Probably part of the reason why it's so healthy. I'm sure something. <laughs> something special. The thing about Karura, the different trees and the different trees is different. Um, I don't know. You could say weather, like micro weather. Now this are uh, east section kuna pine, uh, and also the temperatures are between. Ilikuwa 13 degrees, na 25. 13 degrees and 25. Uh, but that's not even what I want to show you. Easy nakaka movie. Nika tune, tunenda, tunenda kutafuta kikricha. Unajua kukinyesha baada ya muda mrefu kuna vile kuna kuanga na ako ka natural pleasant smell when the water falls on the ground. The leaves decomposing on the floor also soak in the water. Apparently there is a name for that scent. Kwa Kiswahili sisi huita harufu ya mvua lakini kwa kizungu wako na jina halisi. Petrico is a term coined by Australian scientists in 1964 to describe the unique earthy smell associated with rain. The smell is a combination of oils which come from plants during dry spells and bacteria which live in the soil. The combination is known as geosmin which contributes the petrico scent. 
Since you can't buy this fragrance, the best place to enjoy it is in a natural setting like Karura.